Uh, for the S&D group, uh, Mrs. Gomes, for one minute and a half. In Ethiopia two days ago, Jonathan Tesfaye, spokesperson for the opposition Blue Party, was sentenced as a terrorist for comments about human rights he made on Facebook. Last November, Dr. Marrero Gudina, the Oromo opposition leader, was arrested in torture under terrorist charges for the crime of participating in a public hearing here at the European Parliament with Dr. Bahano Nega, another opposition leader, democratically elected in 2005, then sent to jail, now in exile, and also deemed a terrorist. Thousands of political prisoners languish in jail in Ethiopia. Jailed by a totalitarian government, never elected, the last farcical election, emulating North Korea, putting the ruling party to win 100% votes. The violation of human rights in Ethiopia is systematic and aggravated under the state of emergency. Excessive force against peaceful demonstrators, massacres as in Irecha, brutalizing victims of the garbage dump landslide last March, brutal repression against the Oromo community and other ethnic groups, arbitrary arrests, torture, killings, terrorist charges against those that dare to dissent. In this resolution, we call on the High Representative to mobilize members to support a UN-led inquiry into the killings in Ethiopia. Commission and Council must stop the pretense that they deal with a respectful government in Ethiopia to justify wasting piles of EU taxpayers' money as development aid, security capacity and the migration compact. They are in fact assisting a corrupt dictatorship which rules by terror, thus fueling rebelling and insecurity. Ethiopia is indeed strategic. When when Ethiopians revolt, all Africa will tremble. Thank you. Uh, now, on behalf of the Greens, uh, Mrs. Uh, Valero. Thank you. Igår röstade vi för kommissionens förslag om att lägga till ett. Thank you very much. Yesterday, I voted in favour of the Commission's proposal to put uh, Ethiopia on the uh, list for corruption and money laundering.